Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat here and today to talk about Toonami's ratings from this past Saturday, August 28th, 2021. Let's start with the top of the block. At the top of the block, we have Fana Pirate Princess at a .22, My Hero Academia at a .19, Yashihime Half Demon Princess at a .15, The Food Wars at a .13, Black Clover at a .12, Narrative Shipping at a .10, The Attack on Titan at a .08, and Dragon Ball Super at a .09. Overall, this was a very good week for Tanami. Uh, probably the first time I could say that in months, honestly. And that is because of what we got right at the start of the block. Fana Pirate Princess sets a new record for itself at a .22. Its previous highest rating was a .20 set by the first episode. And right now, if you graphed the ratings for Fana Pirate Princess, it would be like a weird smiley face right now. And that raises the question... Is this uptrend something to stay, or is it just a one-week outlier aberration? And, well, I can't answer that for you, because, well, I'm not from the future. I can't tell you. And if you're watching this weeks from now, and a fan of Pirate Princess ends up being this amazing smash hit, you're laughing at me. And a fan of Pirate Princess absolutely craters, well, you're probably laughing at me, too, you know? And, yeah. So, again, very good number. If it keeps it up, that's even better. And Fan of Pirate Princess finished 8th overall for a new cable premieres for this past Saturday. The highest of a non-sporting event. And also, if you... And also, it would have been the second highest among specifically 18 to 34-year-olds. Note the standard ratings are 18 to 49-year-olds. And the only thing that would have beaten it was a NFL preseason game between the Chicago Bears and the Tennessee Titans. So again, Fan of Pirate Princess almost outright winning Cable and something is nothing to sneeze at. And if it, like I said, if it keeps up this rate, if it keeps up this pace and perhaps build on it even more, Fana could kind of become a surprise hit. And my here and really almost everything after that just went up because of again the Halo effect. Well, you can say My Hero Academia actually went up even more than Fana did. It went up seven hundreds, Fana went up six hundreds. But again, My Hero Academia always has that fan base. And even though Season 5 isn't as well-received as the other seasons, a lot of people are just going to come back and just watch it on Toonami anyways because, again, they have that devout fan base. And then Yashihime is always the toughest nut to crack. It went up again to 0.15, but now, it went from, like, the first week building on My Hero Academia to absolutely cratering to, like, a couple weeks later building on My Hero Academia again. And it went up 500s, but again... It's dropped, it drops about a third from the first show, Fana, and it drops four hundredths from My Hero Academia. That's not really that good. And again, Yashihime is kind of serving as this like bridge show between the front of the block with Fana, My Hero Academia, which are the bigger name, bigger name acquisitions that Tanami has. And then stuff kind of there to ultimately just kind of pat out the block in like Food Wars, Black Clover. Nardo, and then like the reruns at the end of the block. And before I go further, I have to point out that it was announced a few days ago that when Attack on Titan Season 4 rerun ends in a couple weeks, it will be replaced by Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, you know, Season 2 of Dr. Stone at 3 a.m. And that will start on Labor Day weekend, which is also a bit of a confirmation that we will not be having a Labor Day marathon this year, which I don't know why we should have had a marathon. A marathon, so I digress. And after that, like I said, uh, you have Food Wars. It goes up a little bit. Th that's the thing. Like the first couple shows really rocketed it up. The other ones just kind of went up a little bit. You know, it's like Food Wars up three hundreds, Black Clover up two hundreds, Naruto it held serve, and then you have Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball Super going up one one hundredth each. And ultimately, with the standards we have now, getting pretty close to point one at the end of the block at like three something in the morning is not that bad anymore so i guess you can say that's a decent night for them but again when you're seeing something like fana go up six hundreds and my hero academia going up seven hundreds it looks a little lacking but again that's a nitpick because overall this was definitely improvement from last week probably the best week ratings wise tanami's had since at least may that i can recall and it'd be interesting to see where the ratings go from here you know especially with fana pirate princess which suddenly had this rocket up to a point two two, and if it keeps this pace up, we might have something that might have 
Toonami making money off of this venture, which is something I really wouldn't come to have expected. So it'll be interesting to see. And also, like I said, the only notable schedule news. And that's another thing, too. This is, we're finally entering a brief period of schedule normalcy, because we had that period with the whole, uh, had to air that Harley Quinn, had to have to air Harley Quinn shows, you have, like, Season's End, you had the one-hour premiere of Fana, and that janked up the schedule because it was, like, a new one each week for four or five weeks, but we finally have a schedule that's at least gonna stay, well, for the next couple weeks, but meaningful, meaningfully... Meaningfully, it's going to be the same schedule for a while. I mean, it depends how much you put on Attack on Titan getting replaced. Actually, this upcoming Saturday, Attack on Titan's being replaced by Stone Wars. And it's going to be the same schedule for the foreseeable future. I think My Hero Academia, after, My Hero Academia and Black Clover, I think, are the next two shows to come up. It'll be interesting to see how those are placed, especially My Hero Academia, because the show that replaces that is probably also the show that's going to have to take up the lead show mantle from Phantom Pirate Princess when that season ends eventually. So, interesting to see what happens there. What do you guys think? What's your thought on these ratings? Which show would you want to see in the block next? Leave your comments, leave your opinions down below. I'm the Super Orange Cat, and that is all.